people say, I am the best boss. They go, God, we've never worked in a place like this before. You're hilarious. And you get the best out of us. Um, I think that pretty much sums it up. I found it at Spencer Gifts. Downsizing? Yeah, I have no problem with that. I have been recommending downsizing since I first got here. I even brought it up in my interview. I say, bring it on. People I respect, heroes of mine, would be Bob Hope, um, Abraham Lincoln, definitely, Bono, uh, and probably God would be the fourth one. And I, I just think all those people really uh, helped the world in so many ways that it's, um, it's really beyond words. It's really incalculable. I suggested we flip a coin, but Angela said she doesn't like to gamble. Of course, by saying that, she was gambling that I wouldn't smack her. The most sacred thing I do is care and provide for my workers, my family. I give them money. I give them food. Not directly, but through the money. I heal them. Today, I am in charge of picking a great new health care plan, right? That's what this is all about. Does that make me their doctor? Um, yes, in a way. Yeah, like a specialist. Well, first what we have to do is find out what motivates people more than anything else. Sex. It's illegal, can't do that. Next best thing. Torture. Oh, come on, Dwight, just help me out here. That's just stupid. In the wild, there is no health care. In the wild, health care is Ow, I hurt my leg. I can't run. A lion eats me, and I'm dead. Well, I'm not dead. I'm the lion. You're dead. It's a real shame, because studies have shown that more information gets passed through water cooler gossip than through official memos, which puts me at a disadvantage, because I bring my own water to work. That was beautiful. All her idea, too. Awesome. She's so great. When I am backed into a corner, that is when I come alive. See, I learned improv from the greats, like um, Drew Carey and Ryan Stiles. Oh, yeah! This... Robin Williams, oh man, would I love to go head to head with him. Oh, that would be exciting. I, oh, I'm Mark from Mark. Well, I'm, I'm Bork from Smork. Nanu, nanu, zibbly blue blue. Today is Diversity Day, and someone's gonna come in and talk to us about diversity. It's something that I've been pushing, that I've been wanting to push for a long time, and corporate mandated it. And I, I never actually talked to corporate about it. Um, they kind of beat me to the punch. Ah, uh, those bastards. <laughs> um, but, uh, but I was going to, and I think it's very important that we have this. And so, uh, I'm, I'm very, very excited. When I am playing hoops, all of the stress and responsibility of my job here just melts away. It's gone. I'm in the zone. Who am I? Am I Michael Scott? I don't know. I might just be a basketball machine. What's Donner Mifflin? I've never heard of it. Filing, paperwork, who cares? Possible downsizing? Um, well, that's, uh, that's probably going to happen, actually. My fiancé has plans for us this Saturday, so I really hope Dwight doesn't make me work. Maybe I should sleep with him. I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> totally kidding. Jim. It's okay here, uh, but people sometimes take advantage because it's so relaxed. I'm a volunteer sheriff's deputy on the weekends, and you cannot screw around there. It's sort of... One of the rules. How come Chris Rock can do a routine and everybody finds it hilarious and groundbreaking and then I go and do the exact same routine, same comedic timing, and people file a complaint to corporate? Is it because I'm white? <laughs>
And Chris is black? I do. I read Small Business Man. I also uh, subscribe to USA Today and American Way um, magazine. That's the in-flight magazine. Some great articles in that. They did this great profile last month of Doris Roberts and where she likes to eat when she's in Phoenix. Illuminating. I'm a deer hunter. I go all the time with my dad. One thing about deer, they have very good vision. One thing about me, I am better at hiding than they are at vision. Yeah! Give me your face! Yeah, like that. Yeah, huh? You know what? Dwight, Dwight. Football is like rock and roll. It's just boom, boom, boom. And basketball is like jazz, you know? You're kind of... It's all downbeat. It's in the pocket. It's like... I live by one rule. No office romances. No way. Very messy. Inappropriate. No. But I live by another rule. Just do it. Nike. It's nice having Katie around. It's another person for Michael to... Um interact with. I think in order to be a ladies' man, it's imperative that people don't know you're a ladies' man. So I kind of play that close to the chest. I don't know, what can I say? Women are attracted to power. And I think other people have told me I have a very symmetrical face. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're right. I don't know. <laughs> Do I feel bad about betraying Jim? Not at all. That's the game. Convince him we're in an alliance, get some information, throw him to the wolves. That's politics, baby. Get what you can out of someone, then crush them. I think Jim might have learned a very valuable lesson. When I retire, I'd, I'd, I don't want to just disappear to an island somewhere. I want to be the guy who gives everything back. A check for the kids and for the team. I want it to be like, hey, who donated that hospital wing that is saving so many lives? Um, well, I don't, I don't know. It was anonymous. Well, guess what? That was Michael Scott. But I, it was anonymous. How do you know? Because I'm him. Can I trust Jim? I don't know. Do I have a choice? No. Frankly, I don't. Will I trust Jim? Yes. Should I trust Jim? You tell me. Coffee is the great incentivizer in the office. It's a drug. It is quite literally a drug that speeds people up. It's not the only drug that speeds people up. You hear stories about uh, Dunder Mifflin in the 80s before everybody knew how bad cocaine was. Gah, man, did they move paper. What is the most important thing for a company? Is it the cash flow? Is it the inventory? No. -uh. It's the people. The people. My proudest moment here was not when I increased profits by 17% or when I cut expenses without losing a single employee. No, 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 no. It was a young Guatemalan guy. First job in the country, barely spoke English. Came to me and said, Mr. Scott, would you be the godfather of my child? Wow, wow, wow. Didn't work out in the end. We had to let him go, he sucked. The purse girl hits everything on my checklist. Creamy skin, straight teeth, curly hair, amazing breasts, not for me, for my children. The shroots produce very thirsty babies. Do I have a special someone? Uh, well, yeah, of course. A bunch of them. My employees. If I had to choose between a one-night stand with some stupid cow I pick up at a bar and these people, I pick them every time. Because with them, it is an everyday stand. And I still know their names in the morning. 